Welcome back to What Are Two Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a T-3485. It's a Soviet Tier 6 premium medium tank and it's located on the South Spawn, or is it the North Spawn? I never remember which way round these are, of Pilsen. And it's under the command of Tau Terrier of Philo. T-3485. What can I tell you about this? Well, basically it's uh, similar to the original T-34. But it had a widened turret ring, which means it could fit a bigger turret on it than the commander. Finally had his own cupola right on top there, you can see. And it was a uh, four-man crew, which meant that obviously they could now have a dedicated, well, five-man crew rather, a dedicated loader, and they also had a radio operator. Most T-34s never had a radio operator during the war, uh, only the command ones, because they just didn't have enough radios, I suppose. Oh, got some targets over there. In fact, there's a target right at the back there. There's a VK looking over all of this, and he's absolutely stationary, but Town's going for the AMX 12 gun. He gets a shot in. Now, the 85mm gun's got an alpha of 180. So if you can get a hit, that's all better. Yeah, I knew he should have paid attention to that 3002, because he put a round in, and unfortunately, it was 133, and it was followed by an SU-100 firing 367. Type 64. Oh, he gets him out of the game. But he's a bit vulnerable in this position because uh, this is one of those places where, yeah, somebody fired around in this direction and they ignited the fuel tanks. So they're obviously trying to find out if he's poking around the side by blind firing. And when they did that, they hit the fuel tank. So he's just waiting to go unsighted. And now he should be ready. There's a T-52 out in the cold pits, and an AMX-12 ton again. Yeah, tracks him, but he'll have to pull back into cover. The Conwell's not ready to shoot, so I think he's going to change position. Yeah, there was a return shot coming in there. Oh, he went for an auto-aim on the AMX-12 ton, but he was killed anyway by the SU-100 on our team. Now, we ha would have gone unsighted, but I'm not sure if we were unsighted at the moment we poked. But Town's looking for that uh, T-52, waiting for the moment he can poke out and get a shot on him. He might be safe from that position just, but you can see the amount of damage that that SE-152 did. Pretty huge shot. Devastating round, those uh, SE-100s. Oh, E25, and we're probably spotted right this second. Yep, we spotted him. Got around into him. And he's taking fire, but can we get a shot here? Yes, we can. And we've got another one in, and he's gone. Uh, T52 still out the culprits. Trouble is, he's on the far side of the culprits, so it's a bit difficult to get at him here. Change your position. Keep the other side interested. And there's nothing to shoot at in the factory area at the moment. Oh, now there's the T-52. He's making a run for it. And it looks like he ran into something by mistake. Fired on a lead shot. But where we seen, there's the Achilles. And there's a VK over there. He needs to get back behind cover, I think. And there might be a return shot. Going to have another go at the uh, end of the pipes where the BK was. And that looks as if it might have actually hit the target, but we'll have to wait and see if it's in the end of battle stats. Go for the T-3045. Oh, he got a lovely leading shot there. And a high roll, 185. Can you get another one? Well, it hit the target, but I'm not sure it actually did any damage. And he's got back into cover. There's the SU-100 that hit us earlier. No, nope, not enough lead on that. It went right behind him. He's into the factory area, and he's not going to come out till there. Oh, went sailing over the top of him. And he's behind the fuel tanks now, so we can't hit him. In fact, he just ram-killed our Cromwell. Or did he? No, T-3485 got him, not the, Crom uh, not the uh, SU. Now, they're going to come out through that gap there. The 
trying to sneak their way through the factory. No, they're not. They're staying behind the walls on the far side of the factory. Our KV-2R is going after them. Now, supposedly, the, the BK is still over the other side. There's the SU-100. He um, keeps poking around the corner, I think, towards the door. There's the Achilles. And he's been killed. I think now would be the moment to actually make a move and try and get over there. Our guys are actually now moving on the enemy, uh, on the heights, looking over the uh, culpit. So um, they found one of the enemy at the back. The VK's moved position. He's going after the guys who've moved up on the far east side. And in fact, it's two against one over there. And oh, we just lost our E25. Now, if we can get behind this SU-100. And the enemy arty's been spotted, and he's behind that shed, so we can't hit him. We could probably shoot through the shed. Yes! Got him! The SU-100 is behind this factory. Now, I don't think he's expecting us to come from this angle, because he's looking towards the IS on the other side, and he's just taken some damage from our arty. So he's stunned. Come around the corner, we can get a snapshot on him. Yes, got him. Nice revenge for that shot earlier. Now, there's an enemy Hummel somewhere over to our right. That's it. The IS is having a quick peek up on top of the heights. There's a T-52. Uh, That's the one that was in the culpits. It was running round. No, that was a good shot, but it was just a little too high. Timed right, but just went sailing right over the top of the T-52. There's the Hummel. Okay, we can get a shot on him. He knows he's been seen. One more. Yep. So that's the Pascucci's. Now, just this BK-3002 and the T-52 to deal with. The T-52 is going after our RT, and they know it. Right, Hellcat's coming around from one side. We're going from the other. There's the VK. Auto aimed on, but it didn't work. And he now knows we're here. Could fire through that uh, tractor. Yep, got him. But we did take a round there from the VK. And we're now down to just 68 hit points. We need to get back to uh, help our RT. That T-52 has got minimal hit points. They can probably shotgun him as he approaches them. But if they don't get it, then he could prove deadly to them. It seems he's too hesitant about trying to go up onto that plateau because he knows he's going to get shotgunned and I'm wondering what Town's doing at the moment he's not heading in the right direction I'm not sure he's paying attention go to the minimap <laughs> unfortunately we lost an RT it was the S51 the T52 did get him now if as soon as he gets around this corner he should be able to get a shot he's up on the plateau there he is That's it. No, we're going to have to manually aim. We're going to have to lead the shot. He's definitely trying to get at the Hummel. He's after his own Pascucci's. Oh, he's hit the Hummel. In fact, he's going for the kill. Oh, but the Hummel shotguns him. Or is it? No, our M44 gets him instead. Sorry. Took that one away from our own M44. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's a second class tanker for Town Terrier in the T-3485. In fact, it's the first second class tanker he's actually had. because It's got the scrolls underneath. 
He's got a Piper Effect, a Fighter, a Duelist, and a Bruiser Medal, but he did pick up a Piscucci's. He killed two of the enemy arty, and for that he gets this medal. And the win rate for the game, 3,330. If we look at the uh, team scores, we can see that the high score in the game was actually that T-52. He did 2,280 hit points of damage, um, and he also did pick up a Lucky as well as a High Caliber, um, which is quite unusual. Um, and I think that may have been because one of our team actually killed one of our own teammates uh, when they were in that engagement in the north corner of the map, um, in the northeast corner of the map. But uh, when it came to kills, it was definitely Town Terrier. He got five kills and the next highest scorers all had two each. And when it came to base XP, he got the highest amount again, 981. And the Hummel managed to get 870 and the M44 725. He fired 21 rounds. He got 12 direct hits and 11 penetrations. Uh, shows the power of that gun. It is quite good. If you can get the hit on the target, uh, the shell will normally go through. And with 180 alpha, um, it's, it's going to do a lot of damage to the enemy tank. You only need a couple of shells at this level to, in order to take out um, uh, most of the tanks, especially if they're lower tier than you. Damage of 1,471 hit points, of which 624 were at more than 300 meters. He did receive three hits. And they were all penetrations, and they did all come from uh, pretty good tanks, actually. That uh, BK-3002, uh, and of course the SU-100. Uh, he spotted one enemy vehicle, damaged eight of the enemy, killed five of them, and did damage assistance of 866 hit points. I think that's spotting assistance in this instance. Uh, on the credit side, he earned 45,642 credits, and after repair, ammunition, resupply, he took away 39,359 credits. He received one bond for getting the Pascucci's, and he also earned 1,471 XP times two for the first victory of the day. Got 442 for this being a premium vehicle, took away 3,385 experience points altogether. So, very nice for Town to get his first second class tanker in the T3485, but he's not going to have to ace it. Uh, but this is one of those fun tanks which is uh, really useful to have in your garage. It not only trains uh, Soviet medium crews but it can actually be really good fun. I remember when this tank first came out, when they first brought it back as, uh, as part of a, a marathon reward tank, um, that there were a lot of people taking them out uh, in wolf packs. And if you get uh, more than a few T-3485Ms working together, it can be very, very effective against uh, enemy tanks. You just literally surround an enemy tank and pump rounds into them at high speed, and they don't survive very long. Even the heaviest tank will go down to a pack, a wolf pack of T-3485s because it's, uh, it's just so much fun. Um, but if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.